Ahí. That means there. El libro está ahí. I with an accent. Really go for it. Está ahí. Hardy, ¿dónde está el libro? Está ahí. So, ahí is there, within sight. Kind of probably close to me. The book's going to be close to me if I use ahí. Allí, on the other hand, also means there. So, it's a slightly longer word, guys. Ahí, that's the short one just there. And this one is ahí. El libro está ahí. Again, pronounce that, that, that I at the end. And if we were in Uruguay or Argentina, remember the double L sound is pronounced sh. So, allí. But for the rest of the Spanish speakers, allí. And this allí still means there, but it's something slightly further away than allí. So, in this case, el libro está allí. It's probably in the corner of the room. Still within sight, but just a bit further away than allí. All right? And then finally we have allá. Allá. And this is the furthest away of them all when you're talking about something. So you could probably insert over before there. So allá is over there. El libro está allá. It's over there. This is probably out of sight. All right. So it's just somewhere over there. I've also heard this when someone says, you know, the, the house is over the hill. Está, está allá. It's somewhere over there. All right. So ahí, allí, allá. They all mean there. But ahí is closest to me. Allí, something slightly further away, still within sight. And allá is out of sight, the furthest away. Okay, and I know it, they all sound pretty similar, but how I remember it is allá. It's just more like, yeah, allá, yeah, yeah, something further out of sight, all right? And then ahí is the shortest, the quickest, so that's something closer to, to you. And how I remember it is someone, you know, where is it? And I'm like, ahí, it's just right there. So there's a bit of aggression behind it. Hopefully that will help you remember. I've also heard uh, a Colombian lady say that there's no difference between allí and allá. And so what I always come back to, guys, is there's probably going to be nuances here, but don't get too caught up about it. It's about going out there, making mistakes, and that's how you spark a conversation. And if you're not sure, just ask a native speaker. But this is what I've understood them to mean. So let me know how you found this in the comments. Thank you, Wanda, for your, for your question. Any questions, let me know. Please do like this video and watch this 10-second one about the difference between aquí and acá. Muchas gracias, chicos. Chao.